Welcome to a new video. Today's video is going to be really autumnal, <laughs> like my previous like few videos because autumn is definitely starting and I thrive in autumn. Summer is when my energy is really low and the moment autumn starts I just feel all the inspiration. But this day I wasn't feeling it. I really wanted to paint but I just sat down at my desk in the morning and I was like I just have no idea what to paint and everything I feel like yeah that could be something I was like no I don't think I can do that so <laughs> basically my self-confidence was just really low that day and to be honest I was feeling quite tired as well I struggle with chronic illness and chronic fatigue and that day it was especially bad so I decided to just accept it and I ended up making a little coffee for myself and I thought I would just take a walk. I find it really helpful to take a walk when I'm feeling really tired. I mean, I'm not always able to. I also do have moments where I cannot even take a walk and it will really feel like I can just fall asleep while taking a walk, which I don't know, feels dangerous to be honest. But anyway, that's what I did. Uh, I went to a park nearby my house, had the absolute best time. Like I saw so many dogs and I pet some, like I asked first, don't worry, <laughs> I'm not that kind of person. Um, but it was really lovely to like pet some dogs and talk to the owners about the dog. And I always really enjoy doing that. <laughs> And I also saw lots of mushrooms. The nature was absolutely beautiful. I think autumn isn't really showing yet, but there were little hints of it and I enjoyed every second of it. And I think I'm going to stop rambling for a little bit so you can just enjoy the footage that I took while going on my walk because I think it's just too beautiful to talk over it with my rambling. <laughs> so enjoy and i'll be back soon
right so welcome back home <laughs> this is me showing a little pumpkin that i knit that a week before i think and when i came home i just suddenly realized that i <laughs> knit that pumpkin and that i want to do more of that and it was the perfect craft for that day simply because i didn't really feel like painting that day i mean I did feel like painting, but I just felt like I didn't have the energy for it. I always find it kind of hard to explain because painting is a really slow craft and you know, you just have to like sit down and do your thing. But for me, it actually takes up a lot of like brain space, if that makes sense. Like it takes a lot for my brain and I am such a perfectionist as well and i don't know i just i do find painting really relaxing but i also have the pressure that it has to turn out nice especially when i'm filming so i decided to just not paint a day and be totally okay with it and do something else i also didn't really feel like just knitting on my jumper or my shawl that i was working on I'm working on this jumper on like quite small needles and I didn't really feel like doing that and I found a mistake in the shawl I'm knitting and really did not feel like fixing that because it just gives me, I don't know, it makes me anxious to like rip back a project that I spent a lot of time on because I'm always scared that I will not be able to fix something and that I have to start over all again. Spoiler. I did end up ripping back a little bit a few days later and it's totally fine now and I'm actually really motivated to finish it. So yeah, <laughs> but anyway, that day I didn't feel like doing something complicated is what I'm trying to say and I wanted to do something kind of easy, if you will. And so I googled and I found some mushroom knitting patterns for free on the internet there are many so if you do look it up you will find loads of them but yeah i decided to knit a mushroom and you know it was perfect for the day because it didn't ask too much for my brain which was exactly what i need and yeah i really enjoyed knitting the mushroom and it actually kind of motivated me to do a shop update hopefully within a month or something don't want to pressure myself too much but i think it would be really nice to knit some mushrooms and maybe some other things as well if you have any ideas please let me know because i need them and i will listen to you but i thought it would be really fun to make some and put them on my etsy and sell them as like little ornaments for Christmas or just decoration, I really like collecting these wool felted like animals that you can find in some stores. I really like just collecting them as I said and I do put them out when it's Christmas time. But I also do have them in my home just laying around everywhere basically. Like in my bookshelf, on like little keys from like a cabinet or just anywhere I can put them I will put them and I think they look really cute so yeah I just thought it would be really fun to make my own so I started with these mushrooms and by now I made some more but I also think I'm going to make some other things but again if you have any ideas or if you want something in a little wool felted ornament then please let me know also I keep saying felted even though this one isn't felted but i want to felt them in my washing machine i don't know but i just really like the look of felted things and you know i just simply don't want to felt my <laughs> knitwear that i make to wear because then i cannot wear it anymore <laughs> but these things i can felt i actually never felt something until like two months or something ago i accidentally put a pair of knitted socks in a washing machine and they felt really bad and 
I cannot wear them anymore. <laughs> so now I use them as like a filling for like knitting animals and stuff, like the little frog you've probably seen on TikTok or something. Yeah, I stuffed it with <laughs> my felted sock when I made one like last month or something. Yeah, anyway, I'm rambling. Yeah, <laughs> don't really know what to say anymore. But besides that, I really enjoyed my day. Sometimes when I wake up and I feel my chronic illness kind of taking over, it makes me feel kind of sad and I just like being productive. It gives me energy, it makes me feel happy and I don't like it when I want to feel that way but I cannot make myself feel that way because the things I want to do I'm not able to do because of my health. And that's kind of like a bitter pill to swallow. Like before recording this voiceover, or like the second part of the voiceover, I was thinking like, do people really care about me talking about my health and all of that jazz? But I just want to be realistic. And even though I don't like being this way, I know that there is nothing I can change about it. And... You know, struggling with it really sucks, but it also brings me things. Like, I don't think I would have as many hobbies that bring me so much joy if I if it wasn't for my illness. And that's a good thing. So, yeah, with that, I think I'm going to stop rambling. If you have any ideas for things to knit, like just really simple things that you would like in your Christmas tree or in your house, then please let me know because I really want to know and I want to make you something and I want to send it to you, basically. Yeah, it feels nice to be motivated again. Just one more thing before I actually stop rambling, but me and my Etsy store, I don't really feel like we're besties anymore and you know we have been besties for quite a long time but i feel like we're still friends but just not besties <laughs> it sounds really dramatic but i still really like my etsy store i really like what's in there still but i feel like i've been doing the same thing for years now i started my etsy shop in 2016 it has been like prints and then came along stickers bookmarks, some tote bags here and there, but I want to do more. So yeah, having this day and actually kind of accidentally starting this new thing that I really enjoy doing, even though I have been knitting for a year and some time now, it feels like something new and refreshing and it made me really happy, even though I was so tired and it felt like there were no emotions in my brain but yeah it just made me feel really happy and motivated to continue doing this so yeah i said i would stop rambling a few minutes ago already so i really am going to do that right now i really hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you enjoy my rambling yeah okay Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you watched it all the way and maybe leave a little comment. They are my favorite thing about making videos like the comments. So yes, I will see you in my next video. Bye!